Hi, I'm Tim Guest from Zodale. We sell valves, pumps and actuators to many industries. One of our favourite industries to sell to though is the brewing industry. We like the brewing industry so much we set up our own brewery here on site called Brewery Z. Here's a little video that we made showing you how we make one of our favourite beers called Echo Hops Gold. In Brewery Z, we're using the Kamuri Brower 50 litre brew kit. And to get started, we're simply going to put 52 litres of cold liquor into the pot. Turn the machine on and select the program. You can store up to four programs, and the one we're using mashes in at 66C, raises to 75C for five minutes, and then boils at 99C for an hour after we're recirculating and sparging. Whilst it's getting up to temperature, we weigh out the grist using these waterproof bench scales. We're using a mixture of Maris Otter, Golden Promise and some torrefied wheat in the grain bill. When the machine is up to temperature, we add the grain. This is added gently whilst the mixing blade spins to prevent the build-up of any dough balls. Once the grain is in, we hit the button and the machine starts the mash timer for an hour. It holds the temperature constant, leaving us time to get on with something else. This is a great time to start wearing out the hot pellets. It also helps to allow them to defrost before we use them. We check the mash regularly using this plastic spoon to ensure no dough balls are formed. And then after a while, we turn off the mixing blade to allow it to sit. After an hour, the Kamuri Brow unit takes itself up to 75C for an extra five minutes, just to squeeze that little bit more out of the grain. The display now tells us to recirculate and sparge. So we lift the grain basket and we start to recirculate the wort. We do this simply with this standard two litre jug and repeating the process over and over until the wort is running slightly clearer. Earlier on during the process, we prepared an extra nine litres of hot liquor that's now at 75C. We use this to sparge with. Again, very simply, just using this plastic jug, which is much easier than messing around with a pump. Once the basket has drained, we tell the unit to start the boil and the heating element gets the wort up to 99C in around about 30 minutes. At that time, we remove the lid to allow any unwanted chemicals to boil off. And this is when we add the bittering hops. For this beer, we're using Pacific Gem. After 30 minutes, we add more Pacific Gem hops direct to the tank. With 10 minutes left to the boil, we add the copper finings. These help to give the beer some clarity. With three minutes left of the boil, we add the aroma hops, mosaic, equinot and citra, all at once. Now we place in the steel cooling coil into the vessel and we connect it to the mains water. When the wort is down to 22 degrees C, we start the transfer, simply using the steel vessel to take it to the fermenting tank. Look at that lovely clear golden wort. A jug is set aside where we pitch the yeast. Midway through the transfer, we pitch the yeast mixture into the fermentation vessel to help it mix in well and oxygenate. Once the transfer is complete, we check the gravity of the wort pre-yeast. This looks spot on to me at 10.44. The lid is now placed on the fermentation vessel and it's left for around about four days or until it's ready for racking and it's reached 10.10 gravity. Now it's time for a bit of cleaning up and sampling a black IPA that we bottled a couple of weeks ago. A very successful day, we think.